Hey guys, Richard Holden here and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're actually going to reevaluate another video that I did where we took a Junkyard M90 supercharger from a 3800 Series 2 V6 and applied that boost to a 4.8 liter larger LS motor. Unfortunately, in that video, the small M90 supercharger was not able to supply the power needs of the bigger V8. Or was it? In this video, we're going to take a look back at a test I did long ago where I took a Junkyard M90 supercharger from an L67 3800 Series 2 V6 and tried to apply it to a larger 4.8 liter LS. Unfortunately, in that test, the stock pulley and the early L67 blower was just not able to support the airflow and boost we needed to even match the naturally aspirated power output of the mildly modified 4.8 liter. Fast forward now, I've done even more testing on a 3800 Series 3 motor with a Gen 5 blower and at different pulley ratios and blower speeds, and I now think I should go back and revisit the test because with that later blower with different pulleys and even modified ported with a bigger throttle opening, I think that junkyard blower would actually be able to supply some junkyard boost to a junkyard LS. So if you guys will make comments, if I get enough comments, I'll redo the test. But let's check out what happened and why I now think the junkyard M90 blower will actually work. Here are the results of the test that I'm thinking about redoing and we'll get into why I'm thinking about redoing it as we look at all the math and the potential from running this Eaton M90 supercharger, in fact, two different M90 superchargers on this 4.8 liter motor and then later on the 3.8 that we ran it on. So this was a 4.8 liter LS motor. It, it had uh, forged small dome pistons in it, JEs. This is a motor that I ran hundreds and hundreds of times. It had a stock uh, Gen 4 rod and crankshaft, a Gen 4 block. It had stock 706 heads and we had put head studs and gaskets in it because we'd run boost on this many, many times with turbos and stuff. And we ran it actually with a Holly High Ram and a and the combination of a Holly High Ram <laughs> and 102 millimeter throttle body, but a very, very mild uh, camshaft. It was the Brian Tooley Racing Torque Cam. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here, but basically it was a 202, 202 duration. So you know that it was very, very mild. And I'll put the rest of the specs up here. You guys can see it. We ran inch and three quarter headers and we ran all of this with a Holly HP management system. We had 80 pound injectors in it. And then what I did was made an adapter plate on top of the high ram. So we could just remove the lid and the throttle body and then put on the M90 supercharger from the wrecking yard. So there's kind of cool. The idea was the results were <laughs> less than ideas we'll see here. But I think a lot of this stuff can be cured with a change to a different blower and more blower speed. And I ultimately would like to look at kind of what the flow rate is, what the maximum flow rate is of the M90 supercharger, especially we used a um, the uh, L67 um, Gen 2 or 3 blower on this. And then we used a Gen 5 later on because we used a Series 3 motor also when I was doing the testing on the 3800. But here's what happened on the... Uh, 4.8 liter run with that cam and the high ram and stuff. This thing made 375 horsepower, 374.8, and peak torque checked in at 344 foot pounds. Now again, the small torque cam and the high ram, not a good combination on this. This can't this would have been much better if I would have just run the factory uh, truck manifold in this combination. But we used the high ram because it made it easy for me to make an adapter plate, basically to just bolt that whole assembly onto the top of the motor. And here's what happened when we put the blower on. Again, this was a, um, an M90 supercharger from an L67 3800, the V6 from like a Pontiac Grand Prix or a Buick Regal, the early ones and not the Gen 5 blower. So running this, running with the factory blower pulley, but also we were overspeeding it a bit because we also had the factory crank truck pulley on the uh, LS motor. So it was bigger than the factory crank pulley on a 3800. So again, we're overspeeding the blower, even though it had the factory 3.8 liter blower pulley on it, but it only managed to produce 314 horsepower and torque checked in at 297 foot-pounds. And a lot of guys will say, oh yeah, but you didn't know what you were doing. The bypass valve was open, yada, yada. Having done these since the <laughs> since the 19s, <laughs> uh, pretty familiar with running these supercharged motors. And uh, we made sure that the bypass valve was working correctly. We even videoed it while it was in 
in operation and so that we know that the thing was making boost the thing is applying that supercharger at this blower speed on this motor making this na horsepower basically we just didn't have enough blower enough blower speed and flow to feed the needs of this motor. Well, I've run other blower tests where when we put a blower on an NA motor, the NA motor was making so much power that putting the blower on only resulted in like a pound and a half of boost. And that's kind of what we saw here. In that case, we saw a pound and a half of boost and saw a little bit more power. But in this one, we didn't have enough blower speed. So now that's what I want to talk about. We're going to show you some results from the 3800 and why I think we can actually at least equal the NA power output and certainly make even more than that with this supercharger. Very quickly, I want to show you the difference in the boost pressures offered by the different superchargers on the 3800 and the 4.8 liter. Now, I know you're looking over at the boost numbers thinking, Richard, that's like 25 pounds, but those are actually inches and not pounds. I have to show you on this scale because the boost pressure for these two tests were logged on different channels so I can't compare them directly but I can the one thing I can use are the uh, inches and what you need to do is just divide this in half basically I could tell you the red line down here at the bottom that was with the 4.8 liter and that was with the L67 supercharger so the early one with a 3.8 liter blower pulley but also the big crank pulley run on the LS so that's like a seven or seven and a half inch blower pulley so we are over speeding it beyond what the 3.8 liter was and the, the blue line up here is the 3800 with the 3.2 liter blower pulley and the stock crank pulley but also with the comp cam so we're looking at um, down here at the bottom we're looking at a range from with the l67 blower on the 4.8 liter it started out at about a pound and a half of boost and dropped down to about a pound uh, the 3.2 liter with the cam on the 3800 started out at about eight and a half pounds and rose to a peak of 12.4 and all of this area in between these two is basically extra power so if you can spin these things at the same if you can take that blower from the the cam 3800 and run that on the ls all of the area in between there as you lower the boost but keep the blower speed the same that's all just going to be extra power so here's the testing on a 3800 Series 3 and L32 with the Gen 5 M90 supercharger that makes me think that that blower would actually support the power levels of a 4.8 liter, even a slightly modified one with a camshaft in it. So we ran this 3800 and I know guys are telling me that they've made, I get guys telling me that they've made like 500 at the tire after modifying this Gen 5 blower, bigger inlet, porting the discharge, spinning them way up. Now they didn't tell me how fast they were spinning them, but maybe as much as 20,000 RPM if they're changing the bearings and things like that and really getting after it. Now, it would obviously be better to spin the blower fast on a bigger motor because it won't be producing as much boost. It'll just be producing more airflow at a lower charge temperature. And that's exactly kind of what I have planned for this for the 4.8 liter with the bigger blower. But these are the data results that make me think it's certainly going to be possible. So this was run on our L32. This was a 3800 Series 3 motor. From the wrecking yard, we did fix the cylinder heads and we ran it with the stock uh, Gen 5 blower with a stock pulley on it. And it started out near 300 horsepower, 291 and 293 foot pounds of torque. But here's what happened after we installed a 3.2 liter or 3.2 inch blower pulley on it. So we stepped down from the 3.6 or 3.8 down to a 3.2 and you can see it made a very dramatic difference in power we're spinning the blower faster it's flowing more air it's making more power and we picked up uh, power jumped up to 340 horsepower so we picked up like 50 horsepower from the pulley swap and this was only going from a 3.8 to a 3.2 and now we can obviously go smaller than that they make pulleys down all the way to 2.5 so big steps already even from that so we can spin it even faster we've got to modify the snout to put some of those really small ones on there but it shows that you know we can get this much more rel relatively in comparison on the 4.8 liter so another 50 horsepower would bring us up at least to the na power output and but here's what also makes me think that we could support even more power with this and that's when we put a camshaft in this motor so you can see when we put a cam in and it wasn't even a very big cam i'll go ahead and put the specs up here but it was a comp cam and we just put in this camshaft to kind of show what like a street oriented camshaft this was a 264 so just a 510 lift 210 220 degree duration split and 115 degree lsa so mild cam obviously they're 
you can put a much bigger camshaft in this thing. But this thing was already up to 300 and over 380 horsepower. So just this on a on a 3.8 liter or 3800 series two motor, series three motor, we were already making more power than the 4.8 liter did. And we were doing it at a fairly high boost level, which means that the motor itself was fairly restrictive. As we saw on the combination with the 4.8 liter, that blower, the, the L67 blower, was not making very much boost at all. And that's actually a benefit. So if we can get the blower speed up where it is here and have an efficient motor, even more efficient than this 3800 that we ran it on, I think kind of good things are going to happen than if we port the blower. And, and remember, we're going from the L67 blower to the L32 blower on the 4.8 liter, that in itself is going to be an upgrade because we've got a bigger inlet. I'm going to make that inlet even bigger. I'm probably going to put like a 102 millimeter throttle body on it. We're going to port the blower, <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff. But even just this shows me that on the 48, the 4.8 liter, even one with a mild cam in it, I think that this blower is going to be able to support this power level and probably even a lot more. And if what the guys are saying that they're making four or 500 horsepower at the tire, really spinning these blowers up on 3800s, it leads me to believe that we might be able to make even more power on the LS. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, here's where you get to determine the kind of things I'm going to test. Specifically, should I rerun this M90 test on a junkyard 4.8 liter? Do you think we can get a Gen 5 M90 spun up, all ported, you know, double throw down? Can we get that blower to actually make some boost on a 4.8 liter and make some good power? Make sure to make a comment. Let me know. It could be simple as yes, Richard, do it, or just yes. So make sure, make a comment, and I'll redo the test if I get enough. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing and maybe even an M90 supercharger on a 4.8.